Hello guys and welcome back to Catnip and today we are bringing you a bit different kind of a video about workout because we think that there might be a portion of our subscribers who are always very conscious about their health. So today we have elliptical versus stationary bike. Which one to actually choose? So come on, let's learn together. It's not always easy to choose, not really clear what each machine brings more than the other and what are the differences. The elliptical also called cross trainer and the exercise bike are both cardio exercise machines that firstly exercise your cardiovascular system, basically the heart and the blood vessels which are responsible for the blood circulation and can lower the risk of cardiovascular diseases, hypertension and diabetes. Then it also improves your endurance which is the ability to sustain an effort over a long period of time and also safe for the joints and are in respect more recommended than running which can cause hip, knee or ankle pain or injuries since the feet absorb two or three times the body weight with each stride. A bonus fact, you should exercise for at least 10 minutes on the elliptical trainer or exercise bike, the ideal being sessions of 30 to 45 minutes to get the most out of the benefits of exercise on your body. Body and your health. Both cardio machines are appropriate for exercising and staying fit. The elliptical machine is more demanding since it involves the whole body while the stationary bike is mostly a workout of the lower part of the body and allows you to sit while exercising. For older people willing to stay fit, the stationary bike is more suitable than elliptical bike. For knee rehabilitation, for example, the elliptical machine may not be recommended in some cases. For others, it all depends on your goals, whether it is weight loss or muscle toning. The elliptical bike and the exercise bike are cardio machines, not strength machines. They will help you to tone legs and buttocks, but they won't help you double your muscle mass. These cardio machines are not made for bodybuilding. The stationary bike particularly works your thighs and calves. The arms, especially the biceps and triceps, are also training, since they help you keep a straight posture on the exercise bike, essential to avoid back pain. If you want to work your abs, tighten the handlebars and contract your stomach muscles while cycling or during intensive phases of interval training for example. To target your glutes, increase the resistance of your bike, stand on the pedals and come out of the saddle. The elliptical bike works the lower and upper body, about 80% of the body muscles. As for the upper body, the back muscles, scientifically speaking, latissimus dorsi, arms, the bicep and triceps, chest, the pectoral muscles and stomach, the abdominal muscles are trained. As for the bottom muscles, the buttocks, thigh muscles, the hamstrings located just below the gluteal and quadriceps and legs that is the area being the calves and tibialis anterior are worked out. When you hold the fixed handles in front of your elliptical machine and stop the movement of your arms, you eliminate the work of the muscles of the upper body and work more buttocks, thighs, legs and abdominals. It is advisable from time to time to pedal back to work other muscles. To sum up, if your goal is to muscle your thighs and strengthen your buttocks, then both the elliptical and stationary bike are suitable. However, if you also want to work your arms, then we would advise you to opt for the elliptical bike. Another bonus fact, the more you increase the pedaling resistance of your bike or your elliptical trainer, the more you'll work out your muscles. Too low levels of resistance won't work your muscles and will therefore have a very little effect. Both the elliptical bike and the exercise bike will allow you to effectively lose weight. The calories burnt both on elliptical and stationary depend essentially on the intensity of exercise and the duration of your workout. One hour of training on the exercise bike burns about 400 to 750 kilocalories, whereas on the elliptical bike, about 455 to 830 kilocalories are burned. The elliptical trainer allows you to burn 15% more calories than the exercise bike. Indeed, one is permanently solicited at the level of the whole body on elliptical bike while one remains sitting on a stationary bike. However, it is mainly the intensity which makes the difference. You will burn a lot more calories by following a very intense workout on an exercise bike than practicing quietly on an elliptical trainer. In addition, it is always possible to stand up and ride out of the saddle and then you can exceed the elliptical trainer in terms of calories burned. What is important if you want to burn calories is to work out with a sufficient level of resistance as you will burn much less calories if the resistance of your bike is too low. This will also allow allow you to buff up thighs and buttocks. In the end, the elliptical bike wins out over the stationary bike in terms of calories burnt. However, the difference is not huge and you will succeed with both fitness machines to lose weight if you work out regularly and intensely. 
you have to exert yourself if you want to burn calories. And for the conclusion, as we have already said, the elliptical trainer and the exercise bike are quite close. They both allow you to follow a cardio workout, maintain your shape and work your endurance without hurting your joints, burn calories and lose weight. Finally, strengthening your muscles. However, there are also two remaining criteria of choice and there, the stationary bike wins, the place and price. Indeed, an exercise bike takes up less space which is about 1 meter long, 50 centimeter wide and 1 meter and 30 centimeter high than the elliptical trainer which is about 1 meter 50 centimeter long, 60 centimeter wide and 1 meter 60 centimeter high. Finally, as for the price of high quality exercise bikes, they come around 300 to 600 euros or 350 to 750 US dollars. And elliptical bikes, on the other hand, are around 600 to 1000 euros or 750 to 1250 US dollars. So the choice is completely yours, but both will work out. So that's it for this video and we hope you liked it. A million thanks to our dear subscriber family for your continuous love and support and until next time, stay tuned for more.